Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Slide 2 Band of Thieves, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time to begin our mission and stop Dimitri. I forgot to show off something that you can do. If you're next to an enemy and you press the circle button, you can actually pickpocket from them. Pretty cool, huh? So not only do you, like, get coins from enemies, you still get coins for killing the enemies. And sometimes, apparently they'll hold loot? Hi. Huh. That's always so cool. I can't believe I've been showing that off until now. It appears there are guards on the roof now, on the roofs now, so I gotta be careful with that. You can get certain loot if the guard has like some kind of twinkle or aura on its back. That is not one of them. Apparently I know now what actually fills your uh, gadget meter. It's getting health, believe it or not. I did not know that. I thought it only just obviously gave you health. And I had to think of other ways to uh, get gadget meter. Alright, I see where I need to go. But I just need to see how I get there. Without too many issues with combat. You know what, this guy sees me, I don't care. Okay, he's leaving me alone. Even though he got knocked down and is probably not even dead. Weirdly enough. What's the fastest way to get up there? Can I jump on this? Oh, okay. Gotta find a way to climb. Let me see if I can get up there. I think I know the way to do it. I gotta go around this way. Alright, so I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play because, well, I'm still recording even though the first part hasn't gone up yet. Because, as of now, by the time you're watching this, I'll have been in Winnipeg for Skills Canada. And I need to get a backlog ready because, you know, I won't be uploading when I'm on vacation. Alright, let's now we're in here. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down for this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. You know, what you've been doing like a minute or so ago. Keep picking his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Oh, you gotta do it more than once. Got it! That's the fan control key. Oops. That did not go according to plan! And somehow they don't see me. I thought I would be caught by the other guys. Obviously not. They're dumb. He's gonna go around, isn't he? Is he gonna go around, like, the whole perimeter? Trust those other searchlights either. Okay, I think I can get this guy safely. As long as he doesn't turn around. Okay, that's just a piece of the key. Alright, 
he's dead. Let's see if I can get back up. Okay, that must be the same guy I took the piece of the key from. Uh oh. That light's coming in on me. Oh, that was a flashlight the whole time. Never mind. Is he twinkling? No. Probably the most edgy thing I've said in a while. Like, is he twinkling? <laughs> the hell with your chairs and tables. You don't need that anymore. Not once you're in jail. You got nowhere to sit then. Man, how did they not hear this? Okay, here's the next bloke. Through just the camera there. No! I did not mean to do that! Oh! Oh dear. I gotta escape. Uh, am I gonna get out? Oh. Huh. He left. Okay, so I guess as long as I don't kill him, it's fine. I just pressed the wrong button, that's what happened. I meant to press circle, but instead I hit triangle like an idiot. Man, these guys are so dumb. I wish I didn't have to go to that each time. of the keys, but I don't see any more guys on patrol, unless they're around here. Oh, there are guys over here. Hmm. What patrol route would this guy take? Whatever the case, he's moving pretty slow. Have I been in here before? I feel like I've been here at some point. Uh, maybe I should get back around the table. Alright, where is he going off to? Back up the stairs, I guess. Looks like this guy goes back and forth. So let me go after him next. Get him before he turns around. There. Now he dead. <laughs> he dead, Jim. Now guy that comes down the stairs. He's next. Then he's gonna go up the stairs. That will be the plan. I'll just hide behind the uh, wardrobe. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Boy, I thought he saw me. Why am I whispering? Maybe I'm like in full role play. <laughs> oh, there, we did it. You don't need to live anymore. You don't need that plan either. Oh, where's the sixth guy? need like the, the final piece of the key to get to that. I don't see that bloke anywhere. Destroy everything! <laughs> oh, you know what? You don't need that many mirrors. You're 
You're all just gonna have to share one. Actually, you'll have none to share with. <laughs> so, at this rate, I'm probably at 7 million years bad luck right now. Maybe destroying tacky clothes will uh, reverse that trend. I had to go up here. Let's see if this will take me to the next guy. Oh, what was the point of this area then? Oh, I see him now. Turn around at any point. Don't think he turns around at all. So I guess I just. Oh, he's asleep! No, he's just looking at the monitor. So he should be an easy get. No, he is asleep! Nice work, Sly. Now head for the Oh, shit. Huh! Did he just disappear through the floor? I can see the floor. He'd have been fine. What the hell? He could survive that. Unless he's got like really bad knees, then you know they'll probably cave into his skull and he'll die anyway, but I don't think that was the case. If he was able to carry himself through that through that point. Alright, let's use the keys. One at a time. <laughs> Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Alright, let's do this. I think this is the way to go. Like through no, I was actually downstairs. I don't know, but this is at the same point. Okay. Gotta find somewhere to get on the fans. I think I have to do so through here. At least there are no patrols to worry about, because, well, they're all dead, but... Should I just get on this? Yes, I can. I see what I gotta do. I did it. I'm overriding the spotlight security gun. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. Alright, so I guess we can finally get in there? Or do we have something else to do? Okay, fellas, the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Murray will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. This is so convoluted, and somehow I think it's all going to work. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I can just play as whoever I want. Okay, there is a Bentley mission over here. I'll get that one out of the way first. Oh, he's just right here! Come on, chum! Let's get to that water tower! Oh, okay, they all gotta go together. Oh, Murray just follows me. 
it's that way. Let's -a go. Could I have chosen to play as Murray and still get that same mission? I think I could have. I would have preferred to play as Murray. Uh oh. Can you take care of those guys? No? Okay. We gotta get into that water tower somehow. Let's try through this side. Let's knock him out. I'm not worried that, that those guys are on to me. Murray, don't get too close to the bomb. Thank you. Jump into my arms. I'll toss you up there. Oh, okay. Oh god. Did I just Oh, I canceled it. I really need to adjust the uh, camera angle here. Here, let me just do that right now while I'm at it. Invert uh, by Nocucom controls, or is it the camera controls? I don't know if you can adjust the camera exactly. Maybe it's turret controls? Let's try this way. Oh, okay, that's much better. You're in. You're gonna have to blast your way in! I gotta move. You know, I could have just thrown a bomb first. You should have told me I had to do that first. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Right, let's see what this one does first. Okay, so let's work this in reverse here. To divert the flow, I think I have to get it through this pipe. Which involves me maybe rotating this one? That might work. And then I gotta go around like this. Actually, I think what I should do is just work on the water itself. So it's coming from this way. And I just gotta divert it like this. way. And it looks like you, when you turn it, it's only one of two pads it would take. So let's turn it like this. It's not stopping from anywhere. So maybe I should turn it right here. But it looks like either way, this is the right option. It's just a matter of getting it over there. Nope, that stems the water even more. Uh, try this? Ah, there we go! Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Take pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Where, where am I anyway? Oh, I'm over here! This could be a little tricky. Because there is obviously a patrol. Better to keep track of him though. But I don't know where he went. Oh, I see where he went. He's over here. Yeah, he did go that way. Okay, nobody's around him that time. Come on, get the keys. Get the keys. Not the money. There! Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Alright, where is the fountain? 
over that way. I'm there, dude. Hopefully nobody else will be. Oh, there they are. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. Where is the truck then? Um, oh, that way. Why is that? Oh, I'm Bentley. I didn't even notice I was Bentley. I mean, to be fair, Bentley and Sly are almost the same height. It's easy to tell Murray because he's the biggest one, obviously. Am I, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, let's not, let's not go that way. Let's pick a different path. Seems there's less of a patrol now for some reason. I think there'd be more. But I don't see any guards. Are they like on strike or something? What's going on? Yes, I know it's France, but come on. Bad guys don't take any time off. Hi. Ha! I got him right in the ass. There. Even your hemorrhoids are asleep. And now he's dead. The truck is not even protected. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Oh, do I have to get on the peacock now? I think I do. At least there's job help in case you, you're not sure what to do. Yeah, you gotta get up there. Question is, what's the best way to get there? Maybe I just jump on this? Oh, I almost missed my mark. I see what now. Oh. There, I recovered. So I think I got a sidle here. Climb onto this. Oh, it worked. I'm in position. Oh, I gotta grab the fountain? Sorry! Oh, there we go. Uh -oh. I'll try again! Maybe I aim higher. Hooks on, pull away. Fly! The guards are on to us! Protect the truck! Uh-oh. Get away from the truck, you! Wait, can I hit the truck? It looks like I can, but it doesn't hurt the truck. Oh, it's gonna get bad if there are dudes with guns coming. I'm on to you! I can hit the truck too, but it doesn't even hurt it. Does this keep going until they're all dead? Okay, it looks like it's all the same boots to deal with. There, I did it. of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Will do. Do 
Jesus. Like Hurley bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Drew. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision. A connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Look, see the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can't. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Let's dance! Oh. <laughs> Is this a fight? Oh! Okay, so we actually gotta fight Dimitri. Okay, so I can hide behind these chemical vats and not get hit. Did they blow up? Oh! So his gun can jam. I gotta hit him when his gun jams. Okay, I can't really hit him. Unless he jams. Oh dear. He's out for my blood. Oh, apparently you can't fight him now. So I'll just wait for him to hit me, and then I'll counter. Okay, I think what I should do... Yeah, just let him attack, but he does that Sagat Tiger Uppercut, and then just go to town. You can get like a couple of hits on him that way. And then he hides again, and I think he's ready to start blasting again. Uh oh. Ah, he managed to shoot me through that. Oh man, he's a good shot, too! Oh man, every time his gun jams... My suit is greasy sweet! And by the time I get to him, he already got a shot on me, even when I'm dashing! I gotta be better than this. There we go. Now I got it on the go. Thing I don't like when he does that, he breaks the cover. Where'd he go? Oh. There, got a knockout attack on him. Okay, when you knock him down, okay, he still wants to melee. Oh, he has a tail whip now. Okay, he's ready to shoot again. I think he shoots like three times and then it jams. in a bad way. Okay, he's down. Nice. Take clockwork feathers and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You... <laughs> Crackerbox! Uh, uh. 
Yay, I got tail feathers. I'm, I'm not a cracker box. Yeah, there, mission accomplished. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Oh, we can move on to episode two now. Why don't we do that? Oh, that's a tiger. Starry-eyed encounter. Uh, okay, we can go back to episode one. And we completed that, so you can take a look at your completion in case you miss something. Apparently, loot or treasure does not count, but you can go back for it, I guess, if you want extra money. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. So this is episode two in India. Guess we're going to enjoy the uh, scenery past the Middle East. And we should probably buy some new gadgets now that there are some available. Uh, combat dodge. Sidestep enemies in combat. That could actually be very useful. And we are too poor to buy anything else. Alright, well... Guess we're looking around for more stuff now. Okay, so we gotta f go all the way over there, and obviously there are more bottles to find. Oh, great. Mumakil from Lord of the Rings are out. So, searchlights on elephants? This could pose a tragic issue. Alright, so I'm stopping here, and in the next part, we're exploring India. Goodbye, everyone.